Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched and Reviewed. Today's movie came highly recommended to me from a YouTuber who goes by the name Kristen H. Kristen H. To be honest, I really don't know how to say it. Heith, Heith something. So we're just gonna call her Kristen H. Who many of you know from YouTube. She's the beautiful girl who does fucked up movie reviews. She's great, she's great, she's wonderful. She wanted me to see this movie so badly that she sent me her copy of it. Making sure it's not Kirsten like in Freddy 3, you know how they kind of jump from Kristen to Kirsten? Hi, I'm Kirsten. Oh, nice to meet you, Kristen. What's your name again? Kristen. All right, see you later, Kirsten. Who did not notice that? You know what I'm talking about in Freddy 3? I mean, is that not the biggest continuity error you've ever seen? Anyway. Oh. Debris Documentor. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Debris Documentar. This movie comes from the very controversial director of Angel's Melancholy and Cannibal, Marion Dora. A filmmaker who has absolutely no boundaries. There is not a line Marion will not cross. Well, let's get this note out. Hello, my darling. Here's a copy of the sickest Marion Dora film ever made. Before seeing it, I tried avoiding spoilers at all costs. However, Kristen did give me one spoiler as a heads up. She said, I know how you can't handle no stuff, so you better grab the puke bucket. Oh, yay. I'm very anxious to watch it. She said that it is a thousand times sicker than Angel's Melancholy. That's kind of hard to believe, considering that Grace fucks a dead pig, they cut off a cat's head, and they shit and piss all over the place. So, with that said, let's get prepared. I've been told by several people that this movie will be very excruciating on me and that I had better get everyone's favorite garbage can. You guys ready to start? Debris Documentar? I know I am. I was really nervous about starting this. We're not even ready near at all. There's some good English for you. Ready near. I want to tell you that I didn't eat any cheese balls today. I haven't been drinking protein shakes. I'm gonna try not to throw up. So we're not working with a lot. We're working with an energy drink. Let's hope we can keep that down. All right, here we go. Play DVD. So the movie opens up with some asshole running. I recognize that crazy face. It's Daddy Warbucks from Angel's Melancholy. He sees a dead animal and runs home to get his video camera. He returns to the carcass butt naked and starts to film the bones very close up. He's taping all the bones up close. Debris documentar. When finished jogging, Daddy goes home and takes a shower. We see that he is very dirty. Uh, he's scrubbing the shit out of his ass. I mean, he's scrubbing the shit out. Yuck. The towel he's using to dry off with, he just pulled out of the toilet. And the toilet is all shitty. Even though this movie doesn't have subtitles, it's very easy to follow. It's just about this asshole, Daddy Warbucks, who works on some film set, and while not at work, he's doing disgusting things. Oftentimes, filming himself. That's it. This demoralized monster then goes outside and starts to do something that really made me sick. He took his shoe off of his nasty foot and is sniffing the hell out of his shoe. And now he's picking shit out from in between his toes and eating it. I mean, can you imagine after a long hot day on a movie set, sitting down and picking shit out of your toes and eating it? Oh shit, I'm really gonna puke during this. We're really gonna puke during this. Oh god. Oh my god, no. And not just eating it, but sucking it off your fingers and chewing it up, savoring the flavor. He's just eating his toe shit. I've told you guys how I can't deal with fingernails or toenails being pulled back. Well, guess who has a toenail that's being peeled back while fingers are digging its toe jam out from underneath it? Good old DW. He just ripped his nail off. 
He just ripped his toenail off. Uh, you know I can't deal with that. What a sick fucker. That really hurt. This man is disgusting. And now, god damn it, we're at the no scene. Oh my god, he's picking. Uh, he's picking his. Uh. So, it starts off with a close up of his nose, and then we see his fingers going deeply into it, twisting it around until he pulls out a chunk of nastiness, showing it proudly to the camera. Ugh. He then takes the slimy piece of nose shit and puts it up to his lips and starts to suck on it. <laughs> He, uh, he just cut into his leg really deep while picking his nose. <laughs> he <ate> it. <laughs> it was much worse than Gunter and Bruce. <laughs> so close up. Oh my god, it was horrible. <laughs> and they haven't even started pooping yet. Oh, I hope he, God, please don't make him do that again. Don't let him do that again. After that, I had to take a quick little break and clean up. The puke bucket's been washed. God, what a disgusting man. What else is he going to do? Now it's back on the film set. Daddy's standing around, eating his fingernails, of course. Probably swallowing. Now he's picking in his ear. In a film such as this, it's never a good sign when you see someone... Oh my no. He's laying out a tarp. He just flipped on his camera, and now he's standing in front of it, looking at it, jerking off his flaccid penis. And now, on the other side of the room, he just turned on another camera, which is facing that camera. Now he's in front of that one, bending down. Oh god, and there's his ass bending down. Oh shit. Oh, oh my god, he's, it's, he's pooping for real. Very well lit, and his asshole is just just drooling out black poop. These scenes that daddy would film by himself were a lot like the body analysis that the actionists used to do. You know, Otto Mule, Gunter, Bruce, they were always so obsessed with their anal holes and what would come out of them. He just lifted up his shit, smelled his fingers, and is dropped to the ground and is throwing up. And he's put his fingers up to the camera and there, there was real shit all over his fingers. Just little chunks kind of spreading out like just little, little tiny bushes. Brown bushes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very, I'm, I don't know. See, I'm very, uh, I'm a little right now. I mean, this movie's kind of freaking me out a little bit. We're then reminded that he has that self-inflicted wound on his leg. He just pulled the gauze off of it and it had like pussy blood on it and of course he picked it up and started sniffing it. Oh god, and he, he just turned around and he's got a real shitty ass and blood coming out of his cock. Back on the film set, nothing happens. Then daddy goes and he visits a familiar face. What the fuck, he just walked into a woman's apartment and immediately she squatted down and in a surprisingly shocking scene, she gives herself an enema. Oh my God. <laughs> All the, how much, and it's brown. Now that, oh God. It's clear now, but then sometimes there'll be some brown in it. Oh god, there's dripping shit. Do you hear how long this is? Do you hear this? This is all shooting out of her ass, filling that bucket. Poop and water. And Daddy Warbucks is just going, like, kind of loop breaking character. They're going like, oh my god. He couldn't believe it either. I mean, there was at least a gallon in there and two cups of shit. This woman is disgusting. It's Grace. It's Grace from Angels. Uh, now he just spread his ass and now she's fingering him. So what's happening here is Grace Farrell is now fisting Daddy Warbucks. Oh no. And he picked up the bucket of her enema shit. Oh my god. Uh, she just fell. She just fell. Okay. She pulled shit out of his ass and then was rubbing it on his ass cheeks and he had his face in all her shit that was in the pot. He goes home and starts jacking off to this pseudo snuff movie starring him and a bunch of baby dolls. The guy in the video is now sticking his dick into the doll. 
Here's a sentence I never thought I'd hear myself say. Daddy Warbucks has the grossest fucking cock I've ever seen. Then DW follows some young girl into the woods and he starts to rape her right as she's taken this really big piss. And he just ran up to her and grabbed her pissing ass and pulled it up to his cock. The rape victim gets away and Daddy Warbucks starts to make out with the Cabbage Patch Kid. Daddy Warbucks has returned to his den of debauchery. Oh god, a close up, a close up of his nose. Mm. And he just picked another one out and ate it. Yuck, he's sticking his finger deep into his shitty ass and then just blah, blah, really sucking and licking it. And then in another gut-wrenching scene, he starts to fuck with the very real scabby wound on his leg. He just picked the scab off, eating it, but actually resting it on his tongue. They were melting on his tongue like those Listerine strips. <laughs> He's eating out. It wasn't just like pick and eat, it was more like peel and show. What is going on? What is this movie? Our hero then starts to have a little fun with a pig's head. He's carving into this pig's head like he's insane. Just, you know, exploring its insides and, you know, just like a killer. He's a serial killer. This man is a serial killing, disgusting abomination. Or he's pulling out the pig's eyeballs. Why? To fucking eat them like this? Cause that's how he eats everything. Some slut comes over to his apartment and after a little bit of conversation, he brutally rapes her. This is quite an intense rape scene. He murders this girl and then starts puking up all this nasty slime. He then... He's pissing on a clock. The fuck is with this guy? And in the big finale, he takes a knife to the dead woman's breast and he's cutting her nipple off like it's the fat of a steak and he's... He just fucking cut the tip of her nipple off and he's setting it down on the table and it's the size of a molar. He's cutting off the other one and it's not graceful. It's, you know, he's really trying to get it off and pinch it and it's just, it's gross. He then... He's cutting off his finger. He just cut around his finger and now he's trying to pull it off. So he sets his finger on the table next to the two nipples and and now he scooped it into his mouth and is chewing it up with these crazy eyes and the camera zooming up to his eyeball. Now he's running off down a hill and there's the credits. So there it was. That was a disgusting movie. I gotta say, this movie left me pretty speechless. Mm. Oh. This man, this Daddy Warbucks, is unbelievable. I mean, this guy does it all. This movie was sick. So what do I give Debris Documentar on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a zero. When it wasn't being disgusting, it was being very boring. The only thing I liked about this movie was the disgusting cameo by Grace. So it was nice to see Grace and Daddy back together again. That's the only good thing I can say about this movie. Even though it left me in physical pain, I do gotta give a big thanks to you, Kirsten, for sending me this movie. You know, it left me kinda... <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.